What's going on? My name's Jay, and in this DaVinci Resolve 16 audio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover right from within the Fairlight page. Let's take a look. When you're trying to tell a story with video, you basically have three options. You can either tell the story, like in an interview format, you can show the story, movies, TV shows, things like that, or you can do both at the same time. And in that situation, voiceovers become really, really helpful. Now, in most cases, when you're doing a voiceover, you've got to watch the video, you've got to talk everything out, you've got to try and time it right, you've got to bring the audio into your editing software and kind of sync it up and do what you need to do with it. But in DaVinci Resolve, you can actually record a voiceover right from within the software. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so we are here in my computer and recording a voiceover in DaVinci Resolve is super, super easy, but there's a couple things that we need to take care of before we actually jump into Resolve. See, DaVinci Resolve, when it comes to recording voiceovers, does not support 44.1 kilohertz, which if you work with audio more than you work with video, you, you may actually have to change some settings in your computer. Now, I work on Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this in Windows 10. It's super, super easy. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our little speaker icon. Let's go ahead and right click on that. We're gonna go to open sound settings. And the first thing we're gonna do is come to output and we're gonna go to device properties. Click on that. Go down to additional device properties. We're gonna come over here to advanced. And you're gonna make sure that in this drop down box, you have it set to the 24 bit 48 thousand hertz studio quality go ahead and back out of there go back to our settings let's come down here to input you're going to make sure you have your microphone selected same thing go to device properties additional device properties go over to advanced and same thing two channel 16 bit 48,000 hertz dvd quality Go ahead and hit OK. And then if you're like me and you use a field recorder as a USB interface, make sure that that is set to 48 kilohertz as well. All right, let's go ahead and back out of that. We're going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. And if I click back over to the edit page, you'll see that I have a couple of clips already lined up and ready to go. Just some stock footage of a beach. And that's all we're gonna be using for this. Let's go back over to the Fairlight page. And when we get into the Fairlight page, there's a couple of things you're gonna notice. We have an audio track here. It's in stereo right now. So the first thing that we wanna do, because this is a dialogue track, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the track. We're gonna go down to change track type two and we're gonna select mono. Then we're gonna come over to our mixer and where it says input, we're gonna click where it says no input. We're gonna click on input and in our patch input output window you'll notice that we have sources and we've got destinations so over here in sources we've got all of our microphones and then over here in our destination we've got all of our audio tracks and we can patch these through and route them to whatever tracks we want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that audio one is highlighted i'm going to make sure that my microphone h4 is highlighted and I'm just going to go ahead and click patch. And now we can see that our microphone is now patched through to audio one. Let's go ahead and X out of there. And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit this R button in the track for record. And you can see that as I'm talking, you can see the audio levels here in the track. And from there, it's pretty easy. We just come up here next to where it says timeline one. We're going to come over to the record button and we're going to click that and start talking. I've always loved going to the beach, the water, the waves, the sand. It's just peaceful. It's where I can go to get away. And then when you're done recording, just go ahead and hit the space bar and that'll stop. And then let's say we wanted to add another voiceover. Let's say, you know, a minute, 44 seconds in, we go ahead and put our playback head where we want the voiceover to start. We hit the record button 
and then we can continue our recording from wherever the playhead is set. It's really, really easy. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and hit spacebar and you have another voiceover recorded and you can go ahead and edit this track or edit these clips individually, just like you would in a regular audio workflow. Now, obviously, when you're editing your dialogue, just like when you're editing anything, it's very subjective and it's kind of artist choice. You can make it sound however you want. But if you want some cool little guidelines, if you want to know how I edit my dialogue in a very general sense, check out this video right here. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.